guys today we are starting with our subject garment construction and this is a garment you see it's a fully constructed with the sewing machine for any garment to be started with we need a pattern we need machine but right now we are doing all hand stitches so instead of machine we will be using hand stitching so we need a needle we need thread we need marking chalk which is used for marking or tracing the fabric if we were using our machine we will be needing bobbin and a bobbin case to carry on with that we need a measuring tape this is our measuring tape you can see over here you have a french curve you know what French curve is because you must have used it earlier also in your draping or pattern making. You need a scale along with it. You need a scissors to cut the fabric. You need pins, all pins or ball head pins to secure your fabric. You can use your thumb pins. You can keep safety pins along with you this is the marking chalk as i said you need a pencil to mark your lines and you get a fabric marking pen as well keep a small metal scale along with you before starting the class now assume that this is the fabric i got and you people know what is selvage right so selvage means the grain line so i'll mark my grain line grain line this is my grain line so it means this is the width of the fabric and this is the length of the fabric the running fabric and you have a selvage on this side guys i'm using pen instead of pencil because for making my video pencil will become a lighter mark and it may not be visible for you but you people have to use your pencil instead of your pen now now taking this your fabric and this is your grain line Turn this towards, take one meter of fabric. Now, consider your width here. Fold your fabric into half. Into half. This is my half fabric. Now, just fold it or divide it into three parts. This way. And now guys, what you are doing is, you cut this part right so what you're doing the first fold you're cutting it first fold you have cut the fabric right and as I said you're folding it again into three parts this way and then now they have to be equal again now you cut this why am I doing this is our curriculum says any sample developed have to be developed in a size of 10 by 10 fabric piece but I don't want anyone to waste your fabric you are learning your sample so let us just work out on 5 by 10 sample so this is what I got all the layers here right now what will I do I will just fold this way right and this way so guys just make your piece in such a way that 
this is your five almost five inches almost 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 five inches and this is going to be around 10 inches yeah if it is a little lesser so doesn't matter just see that how you are folding you can fold this way and then check you fold it whatever the way and then but make sure make sure that the longer side is your grain line yeah clear how to make your fabric swatch right today we will be learning hand stitches as i was talking to you in your uh, in our meet in the zoom here i'm demoing you two samples of hand stitches uh, one will be your running stitch one will be hemming okay these two are what i will teach you so that you finish it off by next class but Make sure that whatever one meter you are, have bought, you are cutting it into this form and you are keeping it aside so that whatever samples we are developing will be done on that only one after the another. We will also learn seams hand, machine seams with the help of hand only. As per now, many of you must not be having your machines at home. Even if you are having machine, few of you doesn't know how to operate it. So let us keep in mind that we don't have a machine and let us assume that we are learning hand stitches now for now, right? But once you come back to the campus, obviously we will sit on the machine and we will practice the machine and we will start stitching it. So because already you will be learning all this, how to do it, you can directly follow up with what to do for what kind of seam right now guys starting with the first C as seen in the PPT what I have shown I'll be starting with your first seam which is a running stitch in general running stitch is used for many reasons one you can just join two layers and then you can have a finish if you don't have a machine but when you are doing a running stitch the running stitch is not very strong uh, so generally this stitch is used for securing two layers of fabric also but right now let us know what exactly is the running stitch and how it is done now out of the pieces what I have cut or what we all have cut we will select the first layer, one layer, keeping all of them aside. Now, in generally what happens, uh, you have done your draping, you have done your pattern making and in that you have seen that how we give seam allowances to the borders. Now, let us assume that we are giving a seam allowances to the side seam or hemline. What we generally do is we take seam allowances one inch, right? So now... The running stitch what we are doing here is generally useful for your hemline also and it is can also be used for making gathers it gives a formation of gathers right let us not talk about gathers right now let us talk about our basic running stitch so as i said generally we use one in seam allowance so all the basic stitches what we are learning right now we will learn based on the one inch seam allowance itself now so what I do is for my running stitch stitch you can say hem finish or you can just say running stitch what I'll do is first this is my grain line guys never forget your garments always have to be made on grain line otherwise the fall of the garment or the finish of the garment will not be good this is our grain line right so now what I'll do on this piece over here first I'll take a measurement of 1 fourth inch from the edge right this is my 1 fourth inch yeah and then from there I'll mark one more line 
okay. which is one inch right one inch I'll use this scale it's better right one inch here and one inch here right guys so when I have this what am I doing is now I'll take a needle I'll take a needle now guys whatever needle you are using you have to make sure that you are comfortable in handling the needle because few of you may have smaller hands few of you may have a bolder hand few stronger and bigger hand so just com feel comfortable in checking which needle is comfortable but don't take that strong needle huh? don't take this needle which many of you know when parents stitch sweaters they stitch their seam finishes with this yeah so don't use this from the box select a good needle or you can buy a separate needle also but make sure that you are able to handle it properly now take a thread yeah insert the thread into the needle now guys uh, if you remember uh, when I was talking to you when I uh, the whatsapp what I have sent I told you people to take matching thread matching fab to the fabric right but I am using a contrast thread here so that when I'm stitching you can see the stitches flowing right so just let me thread the needle now threading is done I'll take thread in such a way that I'm comfortable holding the thread uh, let us work with uh, for the running stitch let us take two strings together right I have taken this much length I chopped it with my scissors and guys if you see here these are the two layer threads yeah so I'll bring it together and I will have to knot it first so you know how to knot hold it like that wind it like this and see can you see the cross over there this part twist it on your finger like this can you see that see how it is and then pull it up so you can see it not formed there yeah guys so let me show you how to do the running stitch now this one inch distance whatever I have taken here I'll draw one more line yes right and then I will see carefully this is a grain line so obviously you all know on the grain line folding a fabric straight is very comfortable so I'll just fold it like this can you see guys I have folded it crease the line with your nails guys doesn't matter whether you're a girl you're male or you're a female everyone have nails this doesn't need a longer nail like girls finger just do this right once you have done that this is the second line yeah you fold on that line yeah okay fine i'll show it this way i folded the first line yeah folded the first line and now this is my second line i'm folding my second line yeah guys i'm stitching using a fabric available at my house and this is already once washed so if i pull it stronger it will stretch because it lost all its starch so carefully see this is how so if unwashed fabric you don't wash your fabric thus you do this it will can you see it's standing sitting properly on the fold now guys once that is over now the thing is okay fine you are doing your running stitch but, but how are you doing it so generally seams look neater on a garment on any finish if the stitch is stitched at an equal distance with an equal length of the stitch okay so now this is what i have 
what I'll do now, okay, to make it more smarter and to make all my stitches easier or closer or equal. If you see your grading scale or even if you see your scale, every inch have its marking over there, right? One eighth of an inch, two eighth of an inch. So what I do, I'll place my scale on the edge of the fold, this line, this line, right? Can you see this? Yeah. For example, I'm keeping one more fabric here, keeping it like this. This is how you have folded, right? Right. So on this edge, what I'll do, I'll keep my scale and do my marking at one eighth inch. See, I'll do like this. Yeah, I'll do like this. Right. Don't mark without scale. I'm marking because I have a small experience. Yeah. So this is how you're marking till the end. Right. This I have just taken as a support so that under on a darker fabric you can see this. So I remove it and then you guys let the marks what you are drawing be light marks. Okay. So that they are only visible to you. Otherwise you will have a darker mark and your thread is not visible. Only your dots are visible so now this is how i have marked all my marks now starting to stitch construct take your needle back yeah now hold your sample can you see see guys this is a fold yeah never forget that it's folded on this line now hold your fabric can you see the first dot over here? Okay, insert your needle through this layer. See this layer. Insert your needle like this. Bring it out. Yeah, so now your knot is secured. You want, you can have a backstitch, but when we do uh, learn how to do backstitch, I'll tell you what to do. Now, guys, you have a dot set a distance of equal one eighth inch. So, running stitch is very simple. You only have to make sure that this line is folded properly and this line is folded on this line. Right? So, now, from here, insert your needle inside. See, it coming out, coming through the fabric and bring it out from the next dot. See? So, when you see at the back, this is how you see. Right? And then... right make sure the threads are not entangling now yeah right then go to the third door the dot next to from where the needle have come insert it pierce inside and bring it out of the next got me yeah see uh, when you are stitching, many a time it may happen if the threads are not equal. Okay, in that case, you can just hold the threads like this and just do it. Everything can. That's it. Now, the thread is on the top now. Go to the next hole. Insert inside. Bring it out from the top. So, when you are inserting the needle, it is passing through all the three layers. What are the three layers? This is your first layer, this is the layer, this is the second layer you are folding and this is the third layer, right? So, now again my needle is here, just pierce inside, see this, take it out and then bring it out from the next guys this is what is your running stitch so generally if you are like comfortable you can just insert inside you can bring it out done 
next hole inside make sure the fold is proper next inside come out guys yeah again go inside come out yeah that's it guys so this is what you have to do this is one of your sample which talks about your running stitches right and this stitch is so simple that if you want to remove the stitch you just cut the knot you have here right cut the knot and then pull the needle from here and the whole thread will come out of here right so this is what is your running stitch hope everyone understood the running stitch let us go for one more simple stitch which is your hemming right hand stitch and this hemming generally what we see we see hemming happening in very basic classic garments in your blouses sari blouse right many of the uh, blouses without piping are done or finished with your hemming only and hem and even the trouser formal trouser when you turn your trouser and see the hemline is done with your hemming finish only so similarly there are many finishes like kotyo garments or whatever you see you see hemming being used in many places and this running stitch is generally used as a basting stitch so that it secures two layers of fabrics when sewn together they don't slip from each other yeah so let us start with our hemming again for hemming is the same process you are taking one more layer of your fabric again yeah and it's the same process of first line at a distance of 1/4 inch yeah if you have your grading scale it becomes easier for you to draw your lines because you have already learned how to use your grading scale this is how you do it you will 3/4 1/4 inch right and then you take one more line at 1 inch right right 1 inch yeah so now this again is the same thing it is your hem finish or hemming right guys now what you have to do as you know you just have to fold this first line you know it crease the line crease the line crease the line the same way what you have done in your running and then this is the another line you fold it on your 1 inch line yeah and just crease the line yeah and then i'm keeping it towards me yeah right and then as i said earlier is the same way i'm marking guys if you feel uncomfortable okay you can draw a line here right and then you can slightly move your scale and at a distance of 1/8 inch you start marking your point can you see this how am i marking can you see this yeah see? i'm marking on the same line i'm marking my 1/8 yeah so this is how i'm marking and i'll mark till the end once that is over now i'm folding this and one fold and then i'm folding it on one inch yeah then crease the line now guys so again my sample is ready for construct for finishing of the seam with the seam finish which is your hem finish 
so now again i'm taking the same needle guys yeah i'm again i'm taking the same needle with thread inside yeah right so now here earlier for running stitch what we have done is we have taken two strings together and we equally have taken the ends of the two strings and we have knotted here but no here when you talk about hemming what you are going to do is you are taking single string right guys don't take a very longer thread as i said earlier you take as much as you can handle otherwise it will keep on entangling and you will end end up breaking a thread in between and reworking so now how to knot it see i have separated it can you see the separated threads two layers right so the longer layer i'm taking see the longer length and then again it's the same way hold it like that twist it this way and then wind it on the bigger and then just pull it out and there is a knot yes a bigger knot yeah it do it twice because it's a single thread if you do once it will give you very thin knot right and once is that is done again it's the same thing pick up your sample this way can you see yeah now insert your needle inside see what i showed you right this is how i inserted in that layer it comes on to the first dot now guys see very carefully now what will i say is this is my layer one the fold this is my layer one and let this be my layer two right so now what i'll do my first thread have come out from the first dot so what i'll do i'll quickly go to the this is layer one and this is layer two right so i'll just take a pinch from layer one and bring back from layer two from the same hole from where it have come out earlier yeah and now bring it out now if you see carefully my thread have fixed the layer one and layer two on the first dot itself now observe carefully this is my layer two this is my layer one and this is my second dot so what i do i'll take a pinch pinch can be only one thread from layer one under the dot whatever i have here and then bring the needle out of the dot can you see this and see here it will be only one yarn insert yeah and then i take it out got me now again go now second dot is done go to third dot and from the third dot take the layer one below the third dot the layer one from layer one take a pinch yani one yarn and then bring it out of the third dot yani you're picking up a pinch from layer one and while you're picking up you're passing the needle through the third dot of second layer yeah you got it this is how it comes again go fourth dot you do the same thing so you're continuing this till the end yes guys this is how you do your hemming this is how hemming looks right guys now the thing is once you have finished the whole hemming once you have come to the other end of the seam what you have to do is how to knot it finish end it right what you do on the last th thread uh, on the last dot you just wind it up once do this one don't worry if it gets untangled it will open see and two 
right and then chop the thing and your sample is ready yeah once you have finished your sample i want you people to write your name semester roll number here and scene name right these three details are needed yeah